Welcome to the homework for lesson six. This is module four of grade one. Get your name on here first, please. And we're back to counting groups of tens in pictures and place value boxes and thinking about unit form and ones and tens. And now we've got some coins. We're looking at pennies and dimes. D pennies are ones and dimes are tens. And I'll just get into a brief reminder about coin ID that can help. But first, we're looking at this uh, place value chart and the blanks. So here we've got 10, 20, 30. How many tens is that? It's one, two, three tens. In the place value box, this is not a 30. Remember, it's a place value box. We're writing how many tens there are. There are three groups of ten, and there are zero ones left over. And over here with the crate of apples, we can't see the apples in there, but it says right here that there's ten. So that's one crate of ten. Not ten tens, but just one ten. And how many single apples do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of those, so 17. It tells you right there. That's one ten and seven ones. And because we have the, there's a lot of different ways you could write 17 using tens and ones. Well, really, you could write it as zero tens and 17 ones, but it goes with this picture. So we want our sentence to match the picture. And now we've got dimes and pennies. Now, when we zoom in on this, you can see it says one cent right here on the pennies. And remember, you've got Abe Lincoln on the penny, and he's always looking this way. And Roosevelt here on the dime is always looking that direction. So that's one of the ways to tell them apart. And the dimes, even though they're worth more, are smaller coins. So that's another way you can tell. In real life, it's easier because the colors are different. But this is a black and white picture, so there's no color to help you with that. So these are pennies. These are ones, and there's two of them. Two pennies, and it tells you right here. Now we're looking at dimes and pennies in our place value chart. And there's two dimes and two pennies. That's two tens, right? And dimes are tens, and pennies are ones. Two tens, two ones, that's the number 22. It's a, we could say 22 cents. We can make a little cent sign right there. All right, now here we have a row of pennies, and this is a row of dimes. And you can tell when you see the backs of them with dimes, you've got the torches. You've got the torch and the flowers. And with the pennies on the back, you have the Lincoln Memorial. So that's three pennies, three dimes, three tens, three ones. It's 33 cents. And here's our, let's see, we have how many pennies? These are all pennies. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's eight pennies. There are zero dimes. So eight cents equals zero tens and eight ones and now here we're looking for dimes we have one two three pennies one two three four five six thirty six equals three tens and six ones and now we're just looking at tens and ones instead of pennies and dimes in our place value box. So there's one that's a dime and that's ten. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six pennies. That's pennies are one, so that's sixteen. That's one ten, six ones, sixteen cents. And then we have tens and ones here again. These are our tens, dimes are ten, so there's two of those. And then the ones, there's one, two, three, there's four of those. So that's two tens, four ones, 24 cents. 
Now let's fill in the blank, draw or cross off tens or ones as needed, reading, reading carefully that we're looking for more and less. So this says one more than 12. So we have a box of 10, right? That's a group of 10, and we want one more marker. And that's 13. And this is 10 more than three pencils. So I'm just going to draw a box of pencils and call it a 10. And that's 13. 10 more than 22. So we have two dimes and two pennies. So 10 more, I mean, I need one more dime. There's my 10 more, 32, 10, 20, 30, 31, 32. One more than 22. These are dimes here, and these are pennies. So I need one more, so I need another dime. I need another penny, I mean, I'm sorry. So penny, and I'll draw the back of the penny and make it try to make it look like the Lincoln Memorial. And that's 23. And then we have 10. Now we're looking at less. So one less than 30, and that's one less. So we're not going to cross off a dime, because that would be 10 less. We're going to cross off a penny. So that's 38. And then 10 less than 30, and I'm going to cross out a dime. And so now I, have, I still have the nine ones. But now I only have 10, 20 in dime, so it's 29. 10 less than 33, so I have three dimes and I have three pennies. And 10 less means I'm going to cross out a dime. And now I have 10, 20, and 1, 2, 3, 23. And 1 less than 33, I've got dimes here and pennies here. 1 less means I'm going to cross out a penny instead of a dime. And see what I have left? I've got 10, 20, 30, 31, 32. 32.